You're watching EAC News. Thank you for joining us. While the official election results are not to be released until August, Prime Minister Hun Sen has received scores of congratulations from foreign dignitaries and organizations on his Cambodian People's Party landslide victory on Sunday. Following the election, the Prime Minister received congratulations from the Prime Ministers of Laos and Vietnam and a letter from Chinese President Xi Jinping. Interestingly, the South Korean-based Asia Human Rights Peace Forum, or AHPF, also sent a letter of congratulations to the Prime Minister, despite having supported his biggest rival in 2019. EAC News reporter Anthony Ellis has the story. Yesterday, the AHPF sent a letter to the Prime Minister Hun Sen acknowledging the CPP's victory and congratulating him on the win. The AHPF had previously held rallies in South Korea for the now-dissolved CNRP, which greatly opposed the reigning Cambodian government. The organisation went as far as awarding Sam Ramsey, the opposition leader and political foe of the Prime Minister Hun Sen, a champion of democracy in Cambodia award in 2019. In a letter, AHPF President Chao Jin Young congratulated the Prime Minister on leading his party to victory in the 7th National Assembly election on July 23rd and wished Cambodia continued growth. Former President of the CNRP Youth Movement, Yin Simon, became Under Secretary of State of Ministry of Labour after renouncing his ties to Sam Ramsey in April. He told EAC News that the letter from the Peace Forum is a true sign of international acceptance and and recognition of the Prime Minister Hun Sen and the true legitimate leader of Cambodia. Lao Prime Minister Sonic Say Siphadon sent Prime Minister Hun Sen a telegram message on congratulations the day after election, while Vietnamese Prime Minister Pham Minh Chin made a phone call the same day. On Tuesday, Chinese President Xi Jinping sent a letter of congratulations to the Prime Minister and praised him for Cambodia's political stability and economic development. Prime Minister Hun Sen tweeted his thanks on Wednesday to all three premiers, saying that their message was warmly received as a gesture of friendship among the neighbouring countries. The July 23rd election saw 85% of Cambodia's registered voters turn out to vote for one of the 18 parties. The long-reigning Cambodian People's Party is said to have gained 6.3 million of the 8.2 million voters, while the Realist Party, Phun Si Pik, placed second with just over 716,000. The NEC reported 440,000 spoilt ballots presumed invalid in protest of this year's decision not to allow the opposition candlelight party to participate in the election. The US, the European Union and Australia had already declared the election as neither free nor fair before it had begun due to alleged harassment and suspension of the opposition, which they say accumulated in barring of the candlelight party from the ballot. However, the Cambodian government boasted thousands of domestic and hundreds of international observers from the countries like China, Russia, Iran and Pakistan, all of who agreed the election was conducted in a transparent and democratic manner free of coercion, intimidation or voter fraud. The Cambodian Ministry of Foreign Affairs said that the 2023 general election truly reflects the maturity of Cambodia's democracy. Anthony Ellis, EAC News.